gentlemen, I'm very happy to join you virtually to celebrate the award of the SAS Undergraduate Scholarships here at the Khabari Medical University today. I would have been delighted to join you in person because Khabar Medical University, as you may know, is my parent institution, but certain conflicting commitments have precluded me from being physically present with you today. I want to congratulate all the students who are being awarded scholarships today. I want to congratulate your parents and most importantly, your teachers and mentors. As you may be aware, SAS Undergraduate Scholarships Scheme uh, is one of the several initiatives under the umbrella of SAS, which is the Government of Pakistan's new poverty alleviation and social protection framework. The SAS Undergraduate Scholarship Scheme is a very special initiative. It is the largest need and merit-based scholarship scheme ever to have been launched in the history of the country. And it also represents a paradigm shift in the scholarship policy of the government of Pakistan. Because previously over the last decade, the government of Pakistan used to support PhDs and master's students. But evidence tells us that ensuring financial access to education at the undergraduate level is one of the most important and the strongest poverty alleviation tools. Evidence tells us that it is the most important equalizer and therefore the government of Pakistan decided to give 50,000 need and merit-based uh, scholarships annually uh, to deserving students, to bright and deserving students. So we're very glad that this cycle, uh, this 2019-20 cycle has come to fruition uh, at your university. I'm very glad personally to learn that women have qualified, that the tribal districts are getting the share, and I hope in the next year this share will increase. So the next round of uh, scholarships uh, for 2020-2021 uh, will be announced very soon. I encourage all of you to be on the lookout to apply and encourage your colleagues who need help to apply as well. Uh, you are Pakistan's future and SARS is privileged to invest in your future. I would like to end by reading out one of uh, Kaidi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah's quotes. Uh, he said while addressing the Punjabi Muslim Students Federation at Lahore on October 31, uh, 1947, and I quote, Pakistan is proud of her youth, particularly the students who have always been in the forefront in the hour of trial and need. You are the nation's leaders of tomorrow and you must fully equip yourself by discipline, education and training for the arduous task lying ahead of you. You should realize the magnitude of your responsibility and be ready to bear it." Unquote. I don't think there's need to say anything else after reading out Qaidi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah's quote, Pakistan, Pahindabad.